Hello YouTube, Fred Bergeron from Inaxis. I hope you're doing well today. Um, in this video, I want to show you something that I find that will be greatly helpful for you if you have existing Prodigy GX sites. Um, you know, depending on how busy a site is after a while, the event database will grow in size, obviously. Uh, and if you are using the, the, the free version of SQL Express, the limitation is about 10 gig of, of storage or, or, or size for the databases, okay? So when you reach that limit, if you don't have any purge uh, event option set in GX, the system will stop saving events to the database because SQL has reached its um, license limitation for 10 gig, okay? So, you know, as you know, probably there's already a built-in, um, you know, purge function inside GX, but when you reach and the, the maximum size of the database, uh, you know, maybe uh, the system when it's trying to truncate at night, uh, maybe it will time out, maybe it will start using too much memory and fail. So in some cases, we have to manually try and reduce the size of the event database so that it, the system will obviously function again, start saving events from the controllers. Um, and then when this is actually done, when you're below the maximum size of the database, then you can re-enable the automatic purge so this doesn't happen again, okay? So basically what I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you is how to manually um, purge events from the event database using SQL Management Studio and a query that I'm gonna give you in this, in this um, video today. So uh, let's have a look at how we can do this um, with SQL Management Studio. And um, obviously after the video, if you have any questions, please send them below and I will gladly answer you very quickly, okay? So let's have a look at how we can do this with SQL. <laughs> So if you have a site where, you know, events that do not save or events are coming in very slowly, um, you know, probably you have a, an event database that is full, okay? So one trick I have is to actually look at the size of the database just to make sure this is the issue. So um, if you go under, you know, this path on the program files, Microsoft SQL Server, um, the name of the Prodigy GX instance, MSSQL and data. So in there, you know, you'll find, you know, the main database, but also there is the event database here. So don't get confused with the log file. That's not what we want. We want to look at the primary data file. Uh, in this example, it's very small because it's, you know, just a test system. Uh, but if you see it's about like nine or 10 gig or very close to 10 gig, then probably your database is full. All right. So if I minimize this, you see the query I'm going to be using today is this. So, uh, it, I'm, you know, I will, let's leave it on the screen for a minute so people can actually take note of it. Um, you know, it, basically what it does, it's going to delete events uh, based on the log time, uh, you know, between a date and a month and the end date in the month, all right? So if I open Management Studio, okay, uh, basically you need to connect to the Prodigy GX instance in Management Studio, and then it's gonna open the databases section. So here I changed the query so that it's gonna delete all events between uh, the end of March and the end of October 2023, okay? So basically if I look at uh, events here, you can see that I do have events in October, right? So 18 October and all this. Now if I run the query, if my syntax is correct, you see it shows that it deleted 651 events. Obviously, if you have a 10 gig database, um, you can't really try, unless you have a very powerful server, you can't really try to delete, let's say one year at a time. Usually what I do is I select maybe a month at a time. It's a bit slower to do, but it's not gonna time out trying to delete. Uh, you know, I've seen, you know, the log file become huge in size if it fails to truncate and you have to do some extra steps to shrink the log file or shrink the database to reduce its size. So again, if you have a huge database, uh, let's say a 10 gig database, uh, and you try to delete, let's say five gig of events, it's gonna use a lot of memory on, on the server and it may actually time out. So to avoid any corruption or any issues, try to, you know, delete just a month, let it run, and then when, when it works, if it's very fast to delete a month, then you can maybe try to delete two months. Uh, and then also remember to ask the client how long of, you know, of the events that they want to keep in the database. So, you know, you don't delete events that may be useful later, okay? It's also recommended to back up the database in, in, you know, in case something uh, is required to be reviewed. You could always restore the database, run a report, and then restore the live database of the site, okay? So in this case, as you see, it deleted like 651 events. All right, if I close this and then say no, you see if I um, run the query again, 
you see there's the first event is after you know the end time of my query that I ran before okay so um, there's another trick also if you want uh, to reduce the size of the event database because when you truncate events from it it may not actually reduce its size right away um, there's a way to shrink the database so that it will remove or I mean reduce the size of the container for the event database so the backup that you may run every night uh, will be smaller in size on the hard drive so there's a trick here you just right click on the database and I always do this after a, 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 a truncate or a purge so you go into task shrink database now it's going to show you the percentage of the database that is now available for free space okay and if i run the okay it's basically going to remove that space so i just reduced the size of my database by 12 percent okay so um i hope you find this uh, video helpful um because you know we, we get frequently get calls and tech support for for this issue so now you know how to truncate the database yourself all right so thanks for watching um i hope you like the video if you please want to hit the like button and the uh, subscribe button so that you receive a notification we make new videos if you need help with any products inaccess is uh, selling just contact the inaccess.com website and you can find the link for the support and the sales team all right thanks for watching fred bergeron from inaccess